evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to main event. My name is Dave Easton, alongside the groovy one, the European champion, Matt Rhodes. Matt, good evening. Good evening, Dave. It's great to be here at main event for the first time. And uh, well, we are going to kick things off on the raw side, and here comes former uh, NSW Tag Team Champion Corey Graves. Hey, he hasn't really been doing much since him and uh, Corey sp er, er, split up. Three. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yep, yeah, uh, obviously on SmackDown, having these problems with Jeff Hardy. Uh, Corey in action here tonight. We'll see how he can do against uh, the main event player, Brent Starr. Yeah. Uh, Is that, I think that was his opponent. No? Christian, apparently. Oh. There you uh -huh. go. Things changed. Apparently, I've been told Brent Starr's been given the night off. Oh, it's interesting. I haven't seen him on Raw or main event, I guess. Well, and remember, Matt, Christian does have um, a shot at the United States tail anytime he likes. Yeah, uh, hopefully he'll look to cash it in at a weak point when Bray's not able to defend himself. Well, we will find him, but he's going to get past Corey Graves here on main event here tonight. It should be an interesting test to see if Corey can maybe knock off Christian, who's a seasoned veteran here in NSW and has made his name and has a possible chance to become a U.S. champion. Well, we will find out. Christian coming to ring. Uh, it should be a very good opening contest, man, for main event. Yeah, we're ready for the action tonight. This will be an interesting main event. And here it comes. Christian, of course, with these peeps, as he likes to call them. And there's, it seems like, a couple of thousand peeps in here tonight, Matt. Yeah, quite a few people at the Jam Pack this arena ready for NSW main event. And, of course, thank you wherever you're watching us this evening. If you're watching us live on Twitch, hello. If you're on YouTube, as always, good evening to you guys as well. And let's see uh, who is going to take the victory in this more opening contest. Yeah, we urge all our fans to come and join the following here on NSW and definitely like and subscribe to all of our stations. Well, all the links below the stream, guys, if you're watching on Twitch. But let's go. Let's start main event. Christian, Corey Graves. And Matt, who would you say has the advantage in this one? I'd have to give it to Christian. I think he's got the skills to really get it done in there and he's really improved it in recent weeks and especially being holding that case for the U.S. title. Yeah, big victory over Carlos back at uh, TLC to win one of the cases. And, of course, it, it Bray White in his sight. As anyone, even Christian, can do a Russian leg sweep. And since Trey's been traded over to SmackDown, Corey really hasn't been able to kind of figure out what he's doing here. And uh, I don't know if he's going to try and look for another tag team partner or try and really make it a go as a singles competitor. Direction, you can say. Yeah, it'd be a prime prospect for maybe a Disney to check out. Oh my God! Don't stop with that guy already. We've seen enough of that that lot on Raw. And got to put it with him tomorrow night on SmackDown as well. As nice takeover by Corey Grace Christian straight back to his feet though. And a nice spinning heel kick, trying to keep the veteran down. Corey though. No slacker himself. Look at this. Oh, nice. Great combination of moves. Yeah, nice. A spinning neck rake off the top of Christian. Having none of that. Now, again, Corey looking for another neck breaker. Hits it perfectly. Again, though, Christian popping up, man. Christian seems to have Corey's number here at the moment. Yeah, he seems to have him kind of scouted, but. I don't know. Corey's been kind of mounting an offense there. Hopefully, Christian can kind of mount his own offense here and kind of sway it back into his favor to win this match. And Christian, again, now a neck break of his own. Perfectly executed. And it seems like a, a lot going, both men going for the neck, Matt. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people are trying, they're both the uh, competitors here are trying to work on the neck and work on the back and kind of weaken their opponent. Christian, nice clothesline, taking Corey down. 
trying to set him up here. Of course, Christian, as we see, has Bray Wyatt firmly in his sights. It's past Monday. We've seen uh, Bray Wyatt try to qualify for Monday in the Bank, was unsuccessful. But, oh, Christian, oh, wow! Corey. What a spear. That's it. Yeah, Corey's good. done. Yeah, good night, Corey. Oh, no! Whoa! Surprise. Lovely, lovely kick up by Corey. What a massive spear. The crowd coming alive here in the arena. Christian, nice! Kick to the head, and then another spear and heel kick of his own into the corner. Can this be enough to finish Corey? Good, no! Corey's showing some heart, trying to fight back here. Yeah, Christian might, might be getting a little bit frustrated here. Crowd absolutely standing as anyone, even Corey Graves, can do a Russian leg sweep. Corey, and now Corey Graves in control. And he's starting to mount an offense here, going for the submission. Yep. Christian so close to the ropes though. Surely, yeah, you can see he has to get a rope break that. And Corey again setting up. Oh, went for the knee. Taking Christian's knee out there, and maybe that could be it. That could do it, Mark. This is going to be a huge upset. Yeah, it would definitely put Corey into the prospects of possibly getting a tiger shot at some point somewhere along the lines. And Christian is busted open. I think the knee connected perfectly as Christian, not again. Just a two, Mark. What a start to me an event tonight. Yeah, very hard fought battle. Very back and forth sway of this match. Huh? No one's got really got a concise. A decisive win so far, or at least put up a the, the oh, effort. Oh, like here we go. No, Corey, not having any of that. And C Christian is busted wide open here. Yeah, the ref might need to look at that. That cut might really get to be a bothersome. And Corey again using the knees perfectly. Trying to go to the outside though, Christian. And surely that's a bit too close, Christian. Now being able to cut him off. What is Christian going to go for here? Oh my god, superplex! Perfectly into the middle of the ring! Christian calling for it, Matt! Looks like that's going to be it for Corey. Looking for the Setting kill. Him up. Yeah. Kill switch. Center of the ring! And surely Corey Gears will knock it up this time. Great cam review. And that is three. And well, Matt, a big win for Christian here on main event. Big win for Christian, but definitely good showing from Corey Graves there. Showed a lot of heart in that match, and I'm sure he's definitely going to be something to look at in the next couple of weeks coming up. Indeed. Congratulations to Christian. Good showing by both men. What a start to main event. We have still plenty of matches to come. And, of course, our main event is Luke Harbour versus Edge. More versus SmackDown, where we more desperately need a win. Uh, but for your winner for this one, Matt, Christian, as we go to the rebound. There, here is our World Heavyweight Champion Cesaro. He's in action next, guys. The main event is coming right up. It's Antonio Cesaro. He's going to take on Eric Rowan of the Wyatt family. Yeah, I... Oh, the European uppercut. Wow. What? We've seen him do this many times to take out people. Is Bray Wyatt going to come back up? Referee, turn mount. He has. He oh, has. Two. The... Cesaro got him. The drone board, but hold oh, on. Oh. Uh oh, Rowan is not done. Now, oh, come on, ref. Get the refs out here. Get them security out here, for goodness sake. And oh, oh, oh. come on. What's he doing oh, back? Come on, guys. You don't need to do this. Bray White on the outside just watching. And look at this. Did we? Oh, my goodness me. Well, we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and coming next is Ryan Fox taking on Chris Jericho. Should be a good test for Ryan Fox taking on Chris Jericho. Another sort of uh, newbie versus uh, legend here. Yeah, getting a good test to see how good Ryan Fox can be and see what he can take into Money in the Bank this weekend. Of course, Ryan or, Fox. Next weekend. Yeah, next weekend, Rock, Ryan Fox has qualified as one of the six men to for, for Raw Money in the Bank. Of course, we have from NXT, CJ Cutler. Uh, we have Ryan Fox. We have Sheamus, Big E, Scott Steiner. Uh, and Ryback. 
A very impressive Money in the Bank match for the Raw side of things. It's going to be a good match, I think. It should be uh, very interesting indeed. As Ryan Fox has made a plenty of uh, people stand up and take notice, you would say, Matt. Yeah, he's definitely come in here with a cockiness and a bravado that not many have been able to match up against and really surprised a lot of people being a rookie and being able to put together, put together a couple good victories like he has. But surely a massive test here tonight against the veteran and former World Heavyweight Champion Chris Jericho. Yeah, well, we'll just have to wait and see what the Fox says about that. Mm. What indeed does the Fox say? We will find out very, very soon. But what do you think Christian's or Chris Jericho is thinking about not being able to be in that Money in the Bank ladder match? Well, sure after having a couple of chances to go for the championship against Antonio, he might want to get that back. Well, Matt, it, we never know. We could have Jericho uh, try and get his way in the money in the bank somehow. We will find out on more. As a sparkly jacket, it's nice if someone tries to uh, rival you, Matt. Yeah, I would have to say I kind of got my idea off of Christian for that, but his jacket is really fancy there. I do like the lights. Well, Jericho ready for action in this one. Episode 7. And currently, it's, I do believe, in the main event coming up, 4 is 5 1 down in matches. Yeah, we've been having a tough go on main event trying to compete against the SmackDown competitors, but. Which your who knows, maybe it's. Yeah, uh, it's kind of tough for me to kind of call which side I want to be on. I mean, I do commentate for Raw and I do wrestle on SmackDown. I mean, I do love both shows, but it's kind of getting competitive between these two brands. So who knows? We may end up having to do some kind of brand war to see who is actually the better brand. And you can't, of course, forget the brands. Of course, from our new show on uh, NSW, of course, ECW comes your way on Sunday nights apart from when we have pay-per-view, so we will see a show this week. And uh, Matt, I don't know if you got to, you got to catch the show uh, last Sunday? Yeah, it was a shocking kind of twist that Jay Masters shows up there after being released from NSW last year and ends up winning their ECW title, and now he's their champion. It's great it's kind of turnaround for him, so we'll have to see. And we've, of course, got oh, Goldust there as well. Yeah, another a former NSW NXT star that has kind of left and tried to find better favor elsewhere. And of course, always glad to have uh, everyone in the chat as well. Matt of the NSW uh, app. Guys, make sure you get your comments in. As just having a look through here at the moment. Uh, a lot of people love for ECW. Also, a lot of people saying Matt, uh, Matt, Matt's jacket is the reason we have budget cuts. I wouldn't have to go that far, but I mean, yeah, it does take a lot to kind of come up with the ideas and costumes for these characters that we have in NSW, so we try to put as much effort as we can into that. Yeah, of course, we're not like other fans, of course, we always try and get our fans involved as much as we can, Matt. As a Ryan Fox here, looking to put Jericho away, we've seen this before, the suplex pin into the cover, and he got him! Wow, very impressive win. That that is definitely a good mark in his book to beat Chris Jericho, a seasoned veteran like him. And Ryan Fox now uh, with so much momentum going into Money in the Bank. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to have to watch out for him. He, Him and Jay Cutler, I think, are going to be the two to watch in the Money in the Bank ladder match. They're kind of unknowns in that match. It'll be interesting to see how they kind of do in that one. Well, we are so close to Money in the Bank, and tonight, Ryan Fox starts his journey are we looking at a Money in the Bank winner in Ryan Fox? Yeah, looks like we found out what the Fox says. He is a winner. Indeed. Guys, these are the shows that are on Nonstop Wrestling. Uh, me and Matt and Oliver Duvall. Main event is what you're watching now. Smackdown tomorrow night. Along with me, Joe at Disney. And of course, me and Jess Oakland. And NXT with myself and of course, Tim Wilde. Join us NXT on Saturday night as well. Some great shows down there. Coming up next, though, Matt, it's a number one contendership match for the women's title. Brie Bella versus AJ Lee. The winner will take on Paige 
in money in the bank. Both of these women wrestlers are both qualified to be in the match against the champion. They both have shown that they can get it done in the ring, and hopefully one of them can maybe put a notch in and take down Paige, and we'll see a new champion crown. Sure. Uh, uh, Brie Bella comes in. No Nikki here, which might give... Uh, really, sorry, take the advantage away from the Bellas. Yeah, maybe uh, Bree's kind of try and do this one-on-one -on -one and see if she can actually prove that she's as good as she says she is and get the job done against AJ Lee. Of course, Bree, former uh, women's champion. So, knows how to get it done, but AJ Lee, also a former women's champion. And I'm sure both women would love to get their hands on Paige and that women's title. Yeah, Paige has held that title for quite a long while. We really thought maybe come WrestleMania last year that uh, Natalia was going to come back and take it from her, but she was able to put Natalia down real quick, and she's been impressive since coming back here in season two. Yeah, and here comes AJ Lee. Of course, had her problems with Paige already this season, but would love to get a title shot against her and money in the back. Yeah, I, I, any of these girls would be good competitors to go up against Paige and. We'll get to find out who she's going to be facing and the money to make pay-per-view. And of course, AJ Lee has held, uh, got a victory over Paige, not title of course, a couple of weeks back, over on SmackDown. So really, she, I'm sure she'll be very confident if she can get past Brie Bella here tonight. And the other, and the girl that ends up losing, I would also kind of maybe consider being put into the women's Money in the Bank ladder match that we we're going to have. Yeah, indeed. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Matt, sort of black costumes all around tonight, Matt. Yeah, sort of a dark match, if you want to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, who is going to pick up the page away to the winner? As Brie Bella. Oh, look at this, just shots with the elbow. Very harsh. That, that takes the wind out of you, Matt. Yeah, working the shoulder, the neck. It, it does a lot of damage. It seems like Brie's coming to really kind of step it up tonight. You can see the action, more action from the women of NSW if you head over to uh, Sunshine Kids Stream for total uh, non-stop wrestling women. Uh, you can get to see how the women of NSW live their lives. Very interesting show indeed, Matt. Yeah, I got to catch a couple of little bits of the broadcast and it's very interesting to see how they're kind of getting along. and seeing the kind of fights that might end up breaking out in the house. Well, going on here. Number one contendership at stake. It's very good that we're sort of getting these kind of matches on main event now, Matt. Something like a number one contendership match, which you really wouldn't get to see usually on main event. Yeah, it seems main event's starting to become more of a show to highlight and some really good talent. And I mean, we just saw Ryan Fox, which he's been really impressive since coming here to NSW and now getting to highlight the Divas and a uh, number one contenders match it's really making this show one to watch. Yeah, no, nice spin a kick. This could be Brie Bella's chance here. In it, go to, didn't hook the leg on Matt. Surely, if she hooked the leg, she could have got a three. Yeah, the hook in the leg really puts the extra pressure there that can give you that extra few seconds just to get that one, uh, that three count to fall. And Brie looking very good tonight, but just as I see that, AJ trying to come back. Brie, those stops are dead in our tracks. And again, working over the arm. Brie looking in tremendous shape here tonight. Just as I say that, AJ comes down, hits the a move on the arm herself, trying to now trying to see if she can mobilize uh, Brie here. Nice back suplex. Both women here going at it. And very hard shots in the corner. What is this? Nice. nice. Nice for her kind of on a take over there. Yeah, and, good. and then just a stiff kick to the back. AJ now in control of this one. Looking maybe to finish Brie Bella off here. Oh, look at that, just wrenching that arm. And Man, looks like she might be trying to set her up for maybe a submission hold. Yeah. But look at this. Oh, the reverse neck breaker. And I think that could be it. Two. No, King of Bri Bree showing some uh, fight here, but uh-oh, here it comes, the chin to the face, and I do believe 
and that is it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. AJ Lee now moves on and will face Paige for the women's title at Money in the Bank. That'll be a very interesting matchup between those two women. Yes. Uh, I really see that one going a pretty long while between the two of them, trying to figure out which one's going to get the better advantage to win that match. And that is true. And Matt, indeed, Money in the Bank is shaping up to already be an amazing pay-per-view. And that is just another match which will show the talent of NSW on, show, on, that, on Sunday, March the 2nd. Hey, AJ just danced around the ring, rubbing it in. Yep, yeah, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Money in the Bank comes your way Sunday the 2nd of March. Of course, it'll be me and Matt who go through all the action. And Matt, it's going to be a great pay-per-view. Yeah, I mean, from what I've been seeing, from what I've been hearing about all the matches that we have lined up or that are getting ready to be set up for this pay-per-view, or it's just sounding like it's going to be a phenomenal pay-per-view, and I hope everyone comes out and joins us that night. Coming up next, Matt, Fandango got the win over Connor last week. This week on the event, he takes on the other half of the Ascension in Victor. Well, hopefully he can kind of make sure he stays in the ring and works just on Victor and doesn't get any interference out of Connor and get maybe the win tonight. But, and many people classed it as a shock last week when Fandango picked up the win. But, uh, of course, this could all change if he picks another one win up tonight. 2-0 against the Ascension. Got to start making Fandango really a, a big-time player here on the SmackDown side of the roster. Hey, maybe one I have to watch out for him possibly coming after my European title. Yeah, you've, got, you've already got challengers coming your way. And of course, tomorrow night, Mac, we're going to find out who you're going to be facing at Money in the Bank. So it should be very, um, very exciting to find out who your next opponent will be. I'll make sure I'm in the back watching on the monitor to, just to be able to scope out my opponent to look for any weaknesses in that match. And what do you think? You, you are on the SmackDown side, Mac. What do you think of the Ascension? Very, very, uh, well, I can't say weird, but they keep themselves to themselves. Yeah, they're as scary and on that kind of dark side that the Wyatt family is, but I think the Wyatt family may be a little bit more crazier where these guys are just a little bit more dark and intimidating. They do. And of course, Connor at ringside, you can't count him out of this one. Victor, ready to go. Action, singles action, yeah, on main event. And Matt is getting ready because you know what's coming. The highlight of the evening, Summer Rae. Yeah, she is. As Matt stands up again. How can you not stand up and give this woman applause? I mean, look how beautiful she is. And here is her dance partner and more. Importantly, the competitor in this match, Van Dango. Well, let's see if he can dance his way to a victory here tonight. But you have to say, though, Matt, very two different styles in this one. Yeah, he's going to have to kind of use his speed, I think, Van Dango here, and maybe kind of outwit and outmaneuver the bigger uh, victor. Of course. Fans getting behind Van Dango as always. Yeah, they seem to love to sing along with that song. Oh yeah, it's one of the popular theme songs here in NSW. Again guys, thank you very much if you're wherever you're watching us. If you're on Twitch, make sure you're hitting that follow button. If you're on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And you're telling everyone you know about NSW. Make sure you tell all your friends, family, everyone who's interested. Make sure you get them to come along. Please check us out once. You never know, they might be... Uh, Fans for life. Uh, well, I bet you wish you were there at this moment in time, Matt. Yeah, I wish I was Fandango at that moment, but I really love the view too. <laughs> well, Fandango playing to the crowd, of course. And uh, getting ready for singles action. Main event episode seven. Seven weeks in already, Matt. Yeah, days are just rushing by and. Uh, it's just a matter of days we're going to be heading into Wrestlemania I think it's just amazing how time just flies by when we get into doing these shows well, only a couple of, well what what we're looking at now something like 11 nights till money in the bank matches are taken yeah. up and uh, here we go 
match number four this evening. Uh, we are ready to go on the main event. And Dango with the opening trying to show that he's not intimidated by Victor here. Well, he shouldn't be, though, Matt. That's the thing. He shouldn't be. He beat Connor last week. Why should he be intimidated by Victor? You would think he's, he's going to be full of confidence. Yeah, well, just having both of them out there can be intimidating, knowing that you have the uh, second person out there that may interfere or try and distract the ref or just cause any kind of uh, way to break up the match or something. But, you know, like you said, he got the win last week, so maybe he can kind of figure out a way to do it with Victor here. Yeah, and of course, uh, the Ascension can't challenge for the tag team titles until Mundo and AJ Styles lose them because of the match they lost at TLC. So you've got to think, now they have to go for singles compet competition, Matt. Yeah, or maybe, hopefully, somebody will find a way to take down the new tag team of MMS. Yeah, of course. We've seen them debut their new uh, style against Chaz and Bruce last week. So we will see in the coming weeks what will happen with them, especially now with Megan on board with them, too. Yeah, now they got someone to watch their back out on the outside and run a little uh, kind of distraction with the referee to help them out and maybe it'll be the added asset they need to keep those titles for a really really long while yeah and fandango yeah look at this and anyone even fandango can do a russian leg sweep with a bit of pizzazz there too oh but look at this what this fandango trying to cheat here and oh got a two and a bit yeah and luckily connor got up there to kind of get to the ref to the see kind of ref to see that uh the referee yeah. or the Fandango had his feet on the roof. Yeah, but the ref fans seem to love it though. That they give him the ascension a bit of their own medicine kind of thing here. Yeah, it just seems that kind of maybe infuriated Victor here though. He's kind of wrenching back on that neck, really showing Fandango what he's made of. Yeah, and Fandango's in a lot of trouble here. Fandango could be on the verge of a t uh, submission loss here. He's able to fight out. Nice drop on the leg of his own. Turning the tide here. Bandango, of course. Trying to make it 2 0. This would be another big, huge win for Fandango. Trying to impress Paul Heyman, or the SmackDown GM. Oh, and hits the splash over the top with lovely. Victor in a lot of trouble here. And down he goes. And that should be it, ladies and gentlemen. Fandango, surely he's going to go two up over the Ascension. And again, Connor gets up. Three, yeah. four, five. Back. Oh my goodness, Fandango had this well won. Hey, ref needs to get Connor out of here. He needs to send him to the back so this can get down to one on one again. Yeah, but Fandango's still in complete control as anyone, even Fandango, can do another Russian leg sweep. And this one could be over right now. And he got him! Ah, oh, very impressive. To, to beat both of the Ascension, that, that's got to really do something for the boost in your career. Yeah, and the Fandango is on a complete roll over the Ascension. And well, you would have thought it, of course, back into the ring. As Max stands up again. Oh, oh, I've been told we have to be quiet for this bit. And oh, a lovely little kiss for Summer Rae there. Yeah, that's it. It was impressive. I have to give it to him. He danced his way to a good victory there. And, well, this is your main event for tomorrow night, SmackDown. Cheer Donovan, the number one contender for the NSW title. He's going to team up with Evan Morgan. He's going to take on the NSW champion, Jeff Hardy. And Daniel Bryan. It's going to be a very good main event. Yeah, it's very interesting seeing the two Raw and SmackDown guys teaming up together and going against each other in this matchup, and be a good lead into the money. Uh, the, yeah, coming up to the Money in the Bank match. Well, coming up next, it is Raw vs SmackDown. It's Luke Harper vs Edge. And Paul, remember, are four one down in matches so far this season. Can Luke Harper and the White Family get a win over Edge? Yeah, I don't know if Edge is going to know what to think of this big guy, Luke Harper. He, he's a very strange, very odd kind of character. And Luke Harper, of course, we know Eric Rowan. No Bray Wyatt in sight at 
the moment. Yeah, but I'm sure he's lurking somewhere in the back waiting. Well, of course, Matt Lukaba Eric Rohn has a ta uh, shot at the world title anytime they like, when they ever want to cash in. And of course, Cesaro uh, felt the full force of that this past Monday on Raw. Yeah, they really took it to, to Antonio, and uh, I've gotten word from our general manager, Jim Michaels, that he has pretty much told Cesaro to take the night off, and uh, Luke Harper and Rowan are kind of not going to be allowed at Raw this coming Monday, so i very interested to see what happens coming to, leading into the pay-per-view and then at the pay-per-view when they do return. That's true. And here is Edge, of course. Man not had a very good start to Season 2, but this could pick up with a win here tonight. Yeah, definitely knocking off the, one of the, uh, Luke Harper. He's one of the big guys that we have over on Raw. And it would be an impressive win to kind of pick up uh, for Edge to w get a win here tonight. And of course it would mean that uh, SmackDown would go even further ahead of Raw. Yeah, it, it's a good battle between the two companies, or two brands to see which one's going to come out the better one at the end of the season two. Yeah, and so... Coming up next, Edge, Luke Harper, it's your main event of main event. So here we go, Matt. Who we got for this one? Uh, I'm probably going to say Luke Harper might have the advantage in this one. I think just his power and strength might be something that Edge is not going to be ready for in this match. Edge, of course, we're on a bit of a down, downward spiral at the moment. We need to pick to get a big win here. And a nice spinning DDT. And you've always got to make sure you've got to be careful of Eric Run on the outside here. And of course, guys, keep your comments coming in if you're on the NSW app tonight. Big thank you to everyone coming out here on this Wednesday evening for main event. A lot of people there in... Um, like Summer Rae in the last match, of course. Always a good sight of Summer Rae. Um, and a lot of people going for... Um, it looks like it's actually split for this match. Yeah, I, know, I see a couple people are kind of leaning toward Edge in this one. They think Edge might be able to, with his veteran skills, be able to pull out the victory in this one. That's true. As a shot coming in from Luke Harper. And the nice take of Luke Harper, despite... Being this weird thing with the Wild family, Matt, they know how to wrestle, don't get me wrong. They know how to get the job done when it's needed. And he's definitely got a strength and power advantage, it looks like, over Edge. And I don't know. I, I, hopefully Edge can kind of find a way to pull out the victory, but I think with Eric growing out there, it's going to be kind of a hard thing to do. But if anyone can do it, maybe Edge can. That's true, as Edge continues on here. Hope I'm trying to get some momentum back with Edge. Oh, nice! Flapjack got him perfectly there. How oh, about trying to battle back? And just a clubbing shot taking Edge down. Of course, we've seen the Y family get involved with Cesaro over the last couple of weeks, Matt, on board. Now got their aim firmly set on our world heavyweight champion. I said, oh my goodness, what was that? Oh, it looked like he took something out and just knocked out Edge Cole. Maybe Edge is out of this here. End of the cover, no hook in the leg though. Edge though, Edge having none of it. Yeah, well, going back to speaking about Antonio Cesaro and the White family getting into it, it's got to be really tough for Antonio to kind of focus on them attacking him and now, like, who's going to be facing him at the pay-per-view, who's going to be the number one contender, who, who's going to be the next challenger for him, or is the White family going to be that? His head's got to be kind of spinning right now. That's true, and it, of course, no protection. Edge hits the spear out of nowhere. Referee distracted where we're going. Turn round, ref. Well, again, Eric Rohn playing the thing. And a small package by Luke Harper. Referee still distracted. Now he's got the cover. Edge has reversed it, though. Got one, got two. And he nicks one. Very impressive win for Edge. I mean, that, that was a very quick, decisive like kind of roll up, and I thought he was going to lose it there, but he was able to flip it over and get the victory. And this now means, Matt, it's 5 1 to SmackDown. Yeah, I don't know. Jen Michaels is not going to be happy about that. His raw competitors just haven't been able to kind of step it up and 
put down any kind of SmackDown wrestlers here. We may have to look for some better talent. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Edge is your winner. We now roll on to SmackDown tomorrow night. Make sure you tune in for that. And Edge ends the event. Man, as always, thank you very much for filling in this week. Uh, say goodbye to the fans. Goodbye, fans. See you next time. And that is it. Dave Easton signing off. Thank you for watching NSW Main Event. We hope to see you all tomorrow night for SmackDown. <laughs>